Well, the beliefs that we've had that we have grown up with all our lives uh, are um, convictions that we have that we live by personally. Um, and as we have ran our business, we feel the obligation or the desire that we want to use those same principles within our business. It would not be consistent for us to live one way at home and then accept a different way at work. That, that, that would be inconsistent with our faith. Uh, the beginnings of Hobby Lobby was really a manufacturer that we borrowed $600 to start manufacturing little frames in our, in our garage. And from that point, uh, we opened our first store. Growing up in our family was uh, an exciting time because we saw at a very young age that a business was growing in our, in, right there in our, uh, in our, in our dining room. <laughs> dining room. Yeah. yeah. We glued frames for seven cents each when I was nine. And so uh, it was an adventure of being together and seeing a business grow right there in, in our family. And from that time to, to today, we now have 520 stores. Our sales are $3 billion. We have no long-term debt, 22,000 employees. So we really feel God's blessings has been upon our company. It is our desire as uh, the uh, owners of this company to do everything we possibly can in, in terms of uh, help and strengthen the families uh, of our employees. Uh, we've been through a lot of different uh, uh, schools that we give anger management for people. We've uh, Dave Ramsey's uh, classes on how to handle your finances. We've had over a thousand individuals to take that class to help our employees. So we do a lot of classes. We have four full-time chaplains now that work not only in the stores uh, but also here at the corporate office course closing on Sundays real important to us giving our managers a five day work week is very important to us uh, closing uh, at eight o'clock instead of nine o'clock so maybe a parent can tuck their kids in bed before they go uh, to bed at night we do everything we possibly can to be a help to our employees of how that they can uh, structure their life based on biblical principles it's not something that's forced on anybody but it's there for them if they would like our, our goal is just to be a light to the world, and that's um, something we try to, to not just talk the talk, but walk the walk. And um, I'm so thankful for a family that has that foundational value. It, it's, it's just something that was natural for us to do, is to uh, uh, include that in our business principles, the way we raised our family. We just felt like whatever we did, we wanted to do it for the best. But uh, it's, it's just a part of our life that is, uh, we can't separate it from our work and our family life. One of the values that we learned at home a lot that we took into work was to have clean hands and a pure heart. You know, probably the word I would use for that is integrity. Um, and how do you live an integrated life, your spirit, your mind and body, all parts of your life together? And even, even the integrity of work and family, how do you balance not working too much and family and all those things. So those, are, those help make us decisions like when we close on a Sunday or close at 8. It's integrating life. It's more than just work. It's more than family. How do you do all of that in, in, in balance? And so I think that's an integrity life or what I call an integrated life. And so how do we integrate life and how do we do that best uh, on our jobs? My convictions uh, uh enter into how we run our business, uh, uh, the convictions on uh, uh, how we treat others, uh, to do unto others as uh, we would have them do unto us. So we're always asking those questions. Uh, today, uh, in fact, we've had uh, vendors call us and they couldn't believe it because it would be a long each. And they would send us uh, eight or ten thousand dollars more than they, wish they should. And uh, our people are advised to let them know longages as well as shortage. It's a conviction that we have based on sound biblical principles. And so um, in every area that we feel like that would uh, be uh, something contrary to God's word, that, that becomes a conviction for us. And uh, just caring about our people is a conviction. And so we want to love people and we want to be example the best we can to be a Christian example to all of our employees.